First tonight, the Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia. As we first reported on WPRI.com, reputed mafia captain Anthony the Saint Saint Laurent has pledged to plead guilty in two major federal cases. The notorious mobster is admitting to trying to hire a hitman to gun down a rival mobster. This is a significant step in two massive organized crime cases. The plea agreement coming in light in a filing made today in federal court. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been tracking this story since he broke the news of St. Laurent's arrest back in 2009. He's here now with the details. Mike, the court documents reveal a stunning admission. St. Laurent admits to prosecutors that he is a made member of the Patriarca crime family. This, as you can imagine, is extremely rare. He also stipulates that in 2006, the head of the crime family was Luigi Baby Shacks Minacchio of Federal Hill in Providence. Reputed Mafia Capo regime Anthony the Saint Saint Laurent has agreed to plead guilty to federal extortion and murder for hire charges. Investigators say Saint Laurent was the mastermind in a scheme stretching back three decades. He's accused of shaking down Taunton, Massachusetts bookmakers for protection money. In 2009, Saint Laurent was charged with trying to hire would be hitmen to gun down rival mobster Robert Bobby DeLuca. At the time, court documents show DeLuca was also a captain in the crime family. All three attempts by St. Laurent to hire a hitman were being monitored by FBI agents on a wiretap. Target 12 obtained those recordings. Here, prosecutors say St. Laurent claimed he had the permission of then-mob boss Luigi Baby Shacks Minacchio to commit the murder. No, 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 no. If you want, I said, well, I'll take it. 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 To make sure we don't have a repercussion. Court documents filed today reveal St. Laurent offered to get one of the would-be murderers inducted into the mob for pulling off the hit instead of a cash payment. The documents state St. Laurent had an extreme hatred for DeLuca. In exchange for the guilty plea, prosecutors say they will recommend a shorter prison sentence. A judge ultimately makes the decision. St. Laurent's wife, Dorothy, and son, Anthony Jr., already pleaded guilty to their role in the extortion scheme. Again, St. Laurent's revelations in the plea agreement are significant. It remains to be seen what kind of an effect his identification of the former boss will have on Minocchio. For now, St. Laurent, who is in poor health, is in a federal prison in Massachusetts and could face another 10 years behind bars. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. You'll want to read the plea agreement for yourself. Check out all the court documents in this case on our website, WPRI.com.